Hey guys, Adam here again. Okay, so this may look different to you. All I did was I took this, held down Alt, and dragged out a copy and put it into space. And then I just simply took the overlaps, went to my top view, and I just repositioned them like so. They're originally here, and I put them back. So that's all it is. So don't have to worry about it. So as far as this guy moving correctly, it was just a mistake on my part. I accidentally forgot to rotate him towards the arrow here. As you can see, this is where we're going. And he's not faced the right way. So we'll just go ahead and shift him over. Save it out. Make sure everything's still working before we continue. So as you can see, I got my bot waypoint open. I forgot also to make a variable here. We'll go ahead and do that now. And call it route. Make it public. Compile it out. And there's nothing in here, so you don't have to worry about that. And as for here, we're just going to add something here as well. We're going to add another sequence because this guy can wander all day, but we'd like to go ahead and make him, you know, move around to different locations that we want him to go to. So that's what we'll be using the waypoint for. And we're just going to do a simple move to. And he'll move to the target point by default because it's the first thing that's on our selection. So we'll just go ahead and leave it like that. It's perfectly fine. We'll save that out. And in here, we'll go ahead and set it to, to 1 after we're done checking. So let's make sure he's still moving. So he's moving to his locations. And notice how he won't move past a ledge until there's a reason to. So let's give him a reason as well. We'll go ahead and throw in a nav link. So we'll go ahead and do this and move them like that. And as you can see now everything is displaying. Now this won't be showing if you have that turned off. So you have to turn it back on by pressing P. And if it's still not showing up for you, you can go into your edit, project settings, and under navigation mesh, make sure that your enable drawing is checked. So now he should be able to move over there when he wants to. But instead of waiting until he randomly goes over there and wasting time, we'll go ahead and put some nav points down so that way he can go there. So we'll use our bot waypoint. And we'll put one over here too. So once we get him moving to the first one, then we'll make him move to the second one. As you can see, our route here is already public, so we'll put this to 1. And this one will be 0. So that way we know which one he's moving to. And to make it work, we'll go ahead and just use our current setup here. Of course, we'll be deleting this later, so don't depend on this too long. So let me go ahead and get my reference. There we go. Okay, so first we're going to do get all actors a class. Because we need to get this uh, bot waypoint. So we'll choose the bot waypoint class here. Then from here, drag from this because you will get bugs if you try to do straight from the execution. So from here, type in for each. And we want the one with the loop. Go ahead and connect the execute. And then we want to pull off this a cast because we need to get the right type of bot waypoint. So once we have that cast, go ahead and connect here. And then what we need to do is we need to get their locations. So we'll do get actor location. And then we'll do project point to navigation. Once we have that point navigation set, we'll go ahead and get to make sure that we have the right one we'll get its route too. So you do get route. Realize how everything from a cast pulls its variables from the owner. So if this thing has other variables, you can pull them into. They don't have to be public. Next, we'll go ahead and set a branch. 
Now what a branch does is that it'll check for a condition before continuing, and if it's true or false, it'll carry out those actions. And what we need to do is we need to compare what our route is to, like our 0 and 1. So we'll say equal integer, and if it's equal to 0, we want it to run through as true. Next, we need to make our variables so that we can communicate effectively with the rest of our system. And to do that, we're going to need to add another Blackboard variable called target point. Now, mine went ahead and made it, but if you need to see that again, you just go in here, and you'll say Blackboard key selector, like so. We'll set this to public. We'll pull that down here. Sorry. There you go. And then we'll say set blackboard variable as vector. There you go. Connect that through. And now he should move to the destination we tell him to go. So if it's on zero, we move to zero. Compile that out, save it. Make sure everything else is good to go. Okay. And our bot behavior is going to do a move to target point. Oh, I forgot one more thing. Make sure that's at target point. It should already go there, but just for, you know, your own sanity. So now we know he's going to move the bot point zero. Let's see if he does that. Uh-oh. Might have an issue here. Did I do something wrong? That's equal to one, and that's equal to zero. Let's see what I did wrong here. If it's equal to zero, we should be going to zero. Hmm. Not sure what I did wrong here. Let's try playing again just to see. Maybe this isn't being detected. Try saving this out, see if it does anything. Oh! <laughs> well, he was doing something right. We forgot something here. We forgot to set him to 1. He was wandering. That's why it looked like he was going to that waypoint. He really wasn't. And the character was automatically jumping off because there's a nav link there, I believe. Yes, so the nav link is the reason why. So let's go ahead and see if he goes there now. There we go. So now he's going to that waypoint, and he's not doing anything else. That was confusing me for a minute. Like I said, you always have to make sure what you're setting your stuff to. So now we can continue on with this and make him go to the other one directly instead of just wandering. So we'll go back in here, and we'll go ahead and make this to one, and now he should go over there. Compile that out, save it. Now he'll go directly over there. But he will jump off the ledge because he doesn't have a way to get over there without uh, first jumping. And of course, our uh, bot behavior here, this move to, it's good, but it's not going to do the job. So we're going to have to make another one. So to do that, we'll go in here, we'll add new blueprint class BTT. BTT Basque Blueprint Base, and select that. And then from here we'll call this BTT Move Jump. Let's open that up. And now we go ahead and get started on creating this. So the first thing we want to do is we want to do some casts. So with that we could still do it with an event receive execute. AI. And from there, we'll do a cast. We'll cast a bot. And we'll go ahead and drag from the controlled pawn. Now this we can go ahead and drag off and make it its own promote variable. Call this bot. 
And then we want it to go ahead and carry out a simple move to. So we'll do AI move to. And the cool thing is we can either drag it from here now or just go ahead and connect it through. We'll go ahead and do it right here. And the destination, we want to create a variable, target point. And then do blackboard key selector. Then we're going to get blackboard value as vector. And plug it in through here. Now that should work for now like it was doing before. But of course we need to finish our executes. So we'll go ahead and do that now. There we go. Now that is finished, we need to make them jump. So we're going to do a, a continuous check to make sure the floor is underneath them. So we'll do invent, receive, tick. <clears throat> this doesn't have to be AI because we already have the cast done here. So we'll do a sequence. Because so we're going to make them do sort of a gateway kind of check. Sequences allow you to do two executions zero then one. So first thing we're going to do is off this we're going to make a branch and then we're going to do if false we're going to do a do once and if true we're going to reset it. And then for this we'll do a gate. Now you're probably getting a little lost about why I'm doing all this initial setup, and you'll see why here in a second. And when this is completed, we're going to open. Because we only want him to jump one time. If we have him continuously jumping, he'll fly through the air like Superman. Trust me, I've done it. Not that I've flown like Superman, of course, but you know what I mean. So we'll get the bot, and what we would need from him is one thing, and that's the character movement. get character movement. Hmm. There we go. Just had to delete enough stuff. So we got get character movement. And what we want is the current floor. So we'll do get current floor. And then we're going to do a break. Break find forward result. And we can expand this down here. And we want is the hit result. The hit result we want to see is walkable. Let's see if that's what it is. Nope, that's not it. Sorry. Oh, we need to drag off of this. My bad. It is walkable. Then we connect it to there. And then all the way back to this branch, we're connected through here. But, uh, okay, so now that's just for the check. So this will say, is the floor walkable underneath? If it's true, it'll reset this so that way you can jump again. If false, don't keep jumping. I hope that makes sense for that at least. Let me just get my reference correctly oriented. There we go. Now we want to do is control the movement mode if it is... Uh, considered walkable or not. So we'll do set movement mode. Oh wait. First we have to do another uh, sorry not that. Another operation here. You can press control and alt by the way if you want to get that faster. So we'll do character movement. This one always gets me. There we go. Get character movement. And then we want to set movement mode. No. Sorry. Set movement. There we go. Set movement mode. We want to do this twice. 
Again, control W if you want to get it. So we'll go ahead and do this through the exit. Upon exit for the gate, we want him to do flying. So that way he doesn't just leap off the edge and fall. The next thing we want him to do, we want him to jump. And to make him jump, we just have to pull from the bot. Right here. Oh. We just get jump. There we go. Because this is already built in through its movement. And then connect those up. And now, once he's done jumping, he wants to be put back in walking state. And then we want to close this right here. Sorry. So close our gate. So once he's done, close the gate. And that should work. All right, let's see if he jumps. Oh, but first we have to assign this. We'll go to our tasks. Bot move jump. And we also need him to move towards the target point. So we need to make sure that's set to public. File that out. Save it. Target point is set to target point. Good. So this should work. Cross, fingers crossed, guys. Oh. There we go. So let me move this a little bit closer so you can see that again. There we go. And he goes to the waypoint. Well, if you guys have any issues, please let me know for the following video so I can try to correct them. And thanks again for watching.